What is good friends, back with more smoke on snack draft, this time low Pony kicks versus x-ray and looking at the teams we have a megaladios squad, it's gonna be roost, earthquake, um, psychic and the last move is either ice beam or draco which is able to check the gliss score, the gliss score is most likely a sd variant on x-ray's side which makes me think he either doesn't have a defogger or he's defog on the coco uh, crystallari is most likely a command variant with stored power and roost, the last move is either like ice beam or reflect type, then a hazard ferrothorn uh, definitely rocks Ferrothorn, potentially double hazard Ferrothorn. Pex could have some fist death investment or maybe even be um, near max defense because the death Ferrothorn makes the most sense, obviously. Um, which can already check Greninja, so it doesn't have to be Spadef Pex. I mean, I assume it's probably just mixed defensive Pex, but it could also be like really fist death. And then Megina is probably an offensive variant. Um, Trick Room doesn't make much sense on his team, so I think it's probably Shift Game Megina. Um, with either Leftovers or Z Move, most likely with Z Move. And then that means, um, yeah, Coco could be Defog with either Leftovers, Magnet, or Sugarberry. So we see a type of Coco versus Greninja lead. Um, I would scout here for Greninja being Scarf if I'm X-Ray. Unless um, unless the Coco is Scarf as well, then he's free to stay in and click um, U-Turn here. Because U-Turn covers everything, even the Landris switch and the, even the Bulu switch. Uh, Lopani Kick switches out, which means he is either not Scarf Greninja or he's scouted for the Coco being Scarf. I think he's probably just not Scarf Greninja and he's probably Scarf Landris. Uh, I think we're gonna see a U turn out here from Lopani Kicks. And X Ray can um, either go for Knock or for Ice Fang, predicting Ladi to come out, or he can go for SD. So he goes hard for Ice Fang, so that means he predicted the Ladi to come out. Ice Fang makes sense on this team, especially if the Mega Ladias doesn't have Ice Beam. Um, he needs Ice Fang on Glisco to check Zygarde. So Clefable is going to be a rocks variant on Lopani kick side with rocks, softball and moonblast and the last move could either be T-Wave, Toxic or Calm Mind. Um, yeah, pretty much those moves are used like T-Wave or Calm Mind to force out common defogers so that way you can keep rocks on the other side with your Clef. Now this is a 50-50. Um, he has already seen the Ice Fang so he's tempted to not go into Ladi. So he might go Greninja. So it's a 50-50. If X-Ray Earthquakes predict in the Greninja. Or if X-Ray Ice Fangs predict in the Ladi to come out. Um, pretty, yeah, it's, it's a tough play here for Lopani Kicks. If you predict Earthquake, you go Ladi. If you predict Ice Fang, you, will Grin you go Greninja. But X-Ray has already shown the Ice Fang, which uh, if I'm Lopani Kicks, I would be scared to go hard Ladi since he just showed Ice Fang earlier. So I think Lopani Kicks might go into the Greninja, being scared to go hard into the Ladi. But if X-Ray predicts that and goes for Earthquake, it could also be bad for Lopani Kicks. But yeah, it's just some mind games going on right here. Yeah, he did get up the rocks with the clef, which is a good play, obviously, as he does go Greninja breaking Ice Fang and gets the play correct. So aggressive play there from Low Bunny Kicks works out for him, gets the play right. And now he can scatter out with a potential Ice Beam, the Gliss score. I don't think he's gonna go for Ice Beam here. I think he's either gonna go for Spikes or gonna pull a double switch on the obvious Pex of Ferrothorn. Goes for U-turn instead. So this Greninja could be Z-Move. Or um, it could also be Expert Belt or Metronome, we don't know that just yet, but I think it's not Scarf, because he switched it out to turn one of the Coco. Uh, unless he scouted for Scarf Coco, it's pretty obvious that he's not Scarf. Now we have a few options here, a low Pony Kicks could just Mega Evolve to get some extra bulk on the Ladi and fire off a Psychic. Um, because X-Ray cannot really go out into Ferrozone, he always has to feed that Magnezone in the back. Uh, doubling into Magnezone is also a potential play for Lopani Kicks, because in case X-Ray has Spadef on the Ferro uh, on the Pex and wants to stay in and go for Toxic, um, to Toxic the Ladi, going Magnezone here covers that, covers the Toxic, and it also covers X-Ray switching out into Ferrothorn. So I think Magnezone is definitely a potential play here for Lopani Kicks. Mega King and Psychic King is also a potential play like I fed just to get that extra bulk. Um, and yeah, if the Pex is Fist Death, X-Ray was forced to switch out there anyway. He goes Coco, he's not Leftovers. So it's either Magnet or Shuka or Z, probably either Magnet or Shuka. And I think we're gonna see a Defog from the Coco here. Exactly. So now, um, he's either gonna U-turn here or Hard Switch out. If he has Ice Beam on Ladi, that's a potential play, but I don't think that's... Like, that's not that good for him, because um, the Bulu is... It's not status by Toxic or by Toxic Spike, so Ladi doesn't even boot, boot, beat Bulu that well if it's Spadef Bulu. So Ferrothorn comes out, which means it's most likely Gyro Ball Ferrothorn. If it's Choppel Gyro Ball, this would be amazing for X-Ray, um, but I assume it's just uh, Spadef left over Ferrothorn. So he goes in the pack step, predicting his superpower. Lopani Kicks reveals Z-Move type of Bulu, then it's all out pummeling, and only that's 35. Um, so this might not be a max attack Bulu, this might be a bulky Bulu with Z-Move. So Bulu being Z-Move means Greninja is not Z, which which means Greninja has either Metronome or Expert Belt or some other item. I don't know what item it would be. I don't think Greninja is Scarf. I think Landorus is Scarf the way it has been played so far. 
but I guess there's a slight chance the grin is also Scarf, because I think it only showed U-turn so far. Um, I thought it would have been U-turn with a potential Z-move on the grin, but now that he revealed Z-move on the Bulu, this could still be a Spadev Bulu with Synthesis, um, but it's not going to be Protect. So do we see a Toxic here from X-Ray? No. Um, that means he might be Toxic Spikes over Toxic, because if he had Toxic, I think he should have clicked the there to put the Bulu on a timer. Now, it's really obvious that X-Ray is going to switch out here to get some region with the packs. Uh, Lopani Kicks is most likely going to predict that and go for SD, but if X-Ray has Toxic, I think he should go for it right here, um, just to put the Bulu on a timer, even though he should have gone for the last turn already, but he switches out, and yeah, Lopani Kicks predicts the switch and goes for SD. Um, yeah, teams like these, they are kind of weak to Bulu if the Bulu is not status, like if the Bulu is status, the Ladi can beat it with Ice Beam easily, but if it's not status and it's Spadef Bulu with Synthesis, it can potentially beat the Ladi. Um, the Ladi might just not have Ice Beam, which is also obviously an option, it might be Reflect type. Um, stored power, roost, stored power, but yeah, I'm pretty sure this Ferrothon has to be Jarrable, the way X-Ray is playing this. Uh, Lopani kicks SDs again, which makes me think the last move is definitely Synthesis, otherwise he would have never SD'd again there, so he's probably Synthesis SD superpower Horn Leech, and he should just click Synthesis right here. And X-Ray is either gonna keep clicking Jarrable, or he pivots out creating another superpower. And yeah, this is really bad now for X-Ray, because there's a plus for Bulu, and Lopani kicks is free to just click Horn Leech here. Um, he did, there was no reason to click Super Power predicting the switch because if the Gliss score went for like a SD into Ice thing, that could have been really bad. So I think Hornich was always a fine play. Hornich is again that predicting the the this pivot into either um, um, either Pex or Ladi. Damn. So he gets him right there. I mean, this Bulu has a good matchup with X Ray, but if he had Toxic on the Pex, he should have clicked it. But maybe he has Toxic Spikes instead. I'm just not sure about that. So Ferrothon comes out. Um, is he gonna sack the Ferrothon just to gut hope Lopani Kicks is gonna overpredict, or is he gonna try to pivot into the, the Ladi on a superpower? Honestly, not sure, but this Bulu is gonna go in on X Ray's team. I didn't run any Kalks on yet, but if this Bulu is not bulky, um, Lopani Kicks is really weak to Ash Goon Ninja, so I'm thinking it's probably bulky with Synthesis, and he just superpowers and killed the Ferrothon. Now. Um, yeah, Ladi comes out, and Ladi's gonna Mega Evolve and get some extra bulk. And now the Bulu's at plus three, which means I guess Horn Leech and Grassy Terrain ran out, so Horn Leech wouldn't do that much to Ladi. So um, X Ray could probably either Ice Beam or go for Calm Mind. As Lopani Kick stays and wants to gauge the damage and go for Horn Leech, gets a crit and only does 49. So since the crit only did 49, he's probably forced out here. Um, into Green Ninja, which is a Dark type and not affected by stored power. But if X Ray has, a, I mean X Ray is most likely just gonna go for Roost here, keep the Ladi healthy. He might also comment again, but I think because he does live a U-turn from Greninja, I'm pretty sure. Because Megalarius is just that bulky, and Greninja um, also doesn't run max attack; it usually runs um, some special attack investment. So um, we're probably gonna he comments again, and now he's probably gonna roost slash recover. I mean, usually I think you run roost. Yeah, exactly. And this is Dark Pulse Greninja. Okay. So now let's see if it's um, what item it is. It does 25 and now it did 32. So unless that's a huge roll difference, he's most likely metronome, which means X-Ray is forced out here. Yeah, yeah he's forced out. He goes Magiana. And now Lopani Kicks could go for HP Fire if he has that. Or he can... Um, yeah, he, if he doesn't have HP Fire, he's just going to U-turn out. And this is... Um, yeah, this is def most definitely a shift game again with Z-Move. He does not show leftovers, which confirms that he's going to be a Z-Move variant. I guess he could also be Shooker, but I think Z-Move is more likely. So I think it's going to be either shift gear 3 attacks or shift gear command. Um, so unless Spadef Bulu beats this, Lopani Kicks is in a tough spot. Hmm. <laughs> Because this could be um, this could be T boat focus blast for Lurken. This could be um, huh, I don't know what else it would be. Comment is an option as well. But yeah, uh, low panic kicks is either gonna U turn out here or go for HP fire if you have that. And X ray is most likely gonna shift gear up here. And this beginner is a huge threat for Pani. Um, he has to play around this correct. Mm -mm. Yeah, I think we're just gonna see a shift gear. Um, Megina shouldn't be Trick Room on this team. I think I already said it earlier. He doesn't have anything else that takes advantage of Trick Room. And also that Dark Pulse did 23, even if that's Metronome, I'm pretty sure that's not. 
Max HP Megina, so it's definitely Shifty and not Trickum. So U turns out. And what is the option here? I mean, Magnus Magnezone would probably get bumped by Focus Blast, and that's, unless it's a bulky Magnezone. Um, the Bulu, I don't remember how, how healthy the Bulu is. I think it's at full. Yeah, the Bulu could potentially be a play, but... If he's bulky Magnezone, um, with Assault Vest, then Magnezone is the play instead of the Bulu. Which kind of just depends on... Um, that kind of just depends on the Bulu spread. Like, I'm not 100% sure if the Bulu is max attack or if the Bulu is bulky. I'm leaning more towards the Bulu is probably a bulky variant um, to help with the Ash Grinja and the Alakazam matchup. So there's a shift gear. Going Magnus on there pretty much confirms though that he's Assault Vest. Otherwise, I think he would just die to Focus Blast and he would not have made this play. Um, I mean, he probably has been running some calcs. The timer went down a bit. And he knows he can live any one hit. Unless it's Z All Out Pummeling, which I assume it's just gonna be Z Florican. I don't think it's Z All Out Pummeling. So Lopani Kicks is either gonna T Bolt or Volt Switch here. And X Ray, um, X Ray has a few options. He's either gonna click Comment or Focus Blast. Um, most likely Focus Blast. Kinda depends on his set if he's Comment um, 2 attacks or if he's 3 attacks Shift Gear. Uh, which I think he's Shift Gear 3 attacks. And he goes for Focus Blast. Lopani Kicks eats that up. Confirming that he's a Salt vs. Magnezone. I mean, he should not have brought this out if he's if he was Scarf Magnezone. Um, he's a little bit weak to Kartana, so so I'm a bit surprised by the Magnezone being a Salt Vest. Now it goes into Ladi, and um, Ladi will die to Flurken or Z Flurken. So I think what he should do here is go back into Magnezone and sack it off. Um, basically, to just bait the either bait the Flurken or bait the Z Flurken here, whatever X-Ray has. Because X-Ray cannot, X-Ray, like going Ladi, there's a good play. Because uh, Ladi runs Earthquake, which means X-Ray cannot really afford to set up again here. Like even if he has a Calm Mind or, like he cannot really play around with this Ladi. Because it would just kill him with Earthquake if he plays around, so. I think he's forced to go for Flurken or Z Flurken. And yeah, Lopani kicks baited that and pivoted back into Magnezone, which is definitely the play that I thought he would make. So, well played there. And now, um, Megina gets a special attack boost. But the Bulu is most likely a bulky variant, which means Bulu can come out here since it's at full. It can live any one hit, I'm pretty sure. Um, I have a cult open here. And um, let me type in Bulu. So obviously X-Ray is going to go for Flurken. But if this Bulu is bulky, it can live it. If it's an offensive Bulu, Flurken will destroy it, obviously. It will do like... Um, let me put it at plus one special attack. If the Bulu is offensive, Flurken will do 117 to 139%. But if it's a boogie Bulu, which I think it is, um, to help with Alakazam and the Ash Greninja matchup, it can live a plus from Flurken. Um, it should do around like 80 to 90. It, it will be able to live one, and then Super Power definitely kills the Megina from this range, since it's our offensive Megina. Um, yeah, I'm gonna run the Kalk real quick. Uh, Bulu with no attack, Super Power does 35 to 41. Um, oh no, that's Adamant, my bad, my bad. But yeah, he does kill him with superpower, so I guess it might have been a roll. Um, yeah, superpower did 31.8 to 37.8. So yeah, it was like a roll that was, um, yeah. It could have lifted, but it was a good, like a decent chance to kill. Um, I guess it was slightly in X-Ray's favor, that roll. I mean, it was kind of a mid-roll, but it was a roll that was like just slightly in X-Ray's favor. But yeah, plus one Flurken did um, 86. I'm gonna run the calc on that really quick. I, the, the calculator still doesn't have a spadev Bulu, so... I'm just gonna make it careful 200 spadev for now. And so plus one Flurken does 72 to 85 uh, from plus one Megiana. So he just got a high roll there, or the Bulu... Yeah, the Bulu, Bulu probably does have a little bit less spadev. So he goes Hardlanders there. Um, does he have punishment for Ladi? I don't think he has punishment. Um, he's either going to U-turn here or he has some tech to hit the Ladi with. I'm not sure what it would be though. U-turn Earthquake is obvious. Uh, most likely Defog. And the last move is Toxic. Ooh, I did not see that one coming. Okay, that's a really cool tech. And now, um, yeah, I think he's Scarf Toxic Lando. Greninja already switched that move, so this has to be Scarf Lando. Magnuson was not Scarf either. I'm a bit surprised that the zone is AV. Well, I guess that helps with the Megina matchup, yeah. It does make sense to help with the Megina matchup. Because otherwise, the Shifki Megina is a huge threat. Magnuson was able to chip it down. Um, and also, Greninja's Dark Pulse boosted by Metronome was able to chip it down. Gets up rocks. He might have to sack something here because he doesn't have safe switch-ins to the Gliscor. Uh, X-Ray is going to spam Ice Fang, which is the correct play. 
because spamming Ice Fang, I mean, eventually he has to SD again, otherwise Ice Fang doesn't do enough damage to Clef, but spamming Ice Fang just uh, means low panic kicks can't go hard into Lari or hard into Landris, predicting off quick. Um, I think low panic kicks could have tried to switch out into Greninja there on, when X-Ray was forced to roost on that turn. He could have tried to switch into Lari or Greninja, but he's not taking any risks and he doesn't need the Clef, yeah. Honestly, yeah, he doesn't need the Clef, yeah. So um, X-Ray like, is just doing last ditch effort here and I think Lopani Kicks is just gonna sack it and then afterwards he can go to his Lari and click Ice Beam um, if he has it. If he doesn't have Ice Beam then I guess he might go into Greninja because Draco probably doesn't overcook this score if it's healthy. But yeah, his game is pretty much over. Like, I thought I said he could try to get go Greninja or Lari on a Roost but he didn't have to because he could afford to sack the Clef because he, he was so far ahead on sex. And yeah, he was able to go Lari and Ice Beam. And I think x was banking on the Lari not having Ice Beam at that point. He didn't really have any counterplay. His Coco died to rocks. His Lari was already toxic, which means it couldn't win the game at all. Even if he sacked there and went Lari after the Call Mine and take Ice Beams with ease. Since he's on a timer and toxic, he could not win. Uh, the SD Bullet would beat him and the Greninja also has Dark Pulse. So even if he has coverage to hit the Greninja with, um, the Toxic would just... Um, the Toxic just ensured the win for low money kicks. I uh, thank you guys for watching. There were like a few little plays where I wasn't sure exactly because I didn't know at first if the Bulu was max attack but it has to be bulky Bulu which it confirmed later on. That helped Lopani Kicks check the Megina. I thank you guys for watching and I'll see you with more tournament coverage later or tomorrow. Peace out friends.